So for the alignment part of the test, to uh, use alignment bars and the piece of string here, uh, the most important thing first of all is to uh, make sure the machine is upright with the front wheel in the straight head position. It may be necessary to use uh, an assistant at this point, but we're simply using the uh, centre stand. Take your alignment bars, clamp them either side of the rear wheel. They need to be parallel to the floor, as high off the floor as other parts of the machine will allow. Uh, and tighten securely into position um, so that the alignment bars themselves are touching onto the front and rear edge of the tyre on both sides of the tyre itself. Once you're happy that this is the case, you simply go to the front wheel and you're estimating the gap between the front edge and the rear edge of the wheel on both sides. We're using a tape measure here just to demonstrate what we're looking at, um, but you're looking to make sure that that gap is even. Uh, where it's not, you've either got misalignment of the rear wheel or a little bit of offset. Uh, a road may be necessary for an offset. Once you're happy with this, you can remove the clamps from the rear wheel and place them away. And now we're ready to demonstrate the use of a piece of string. This simply involves taking a piece of string, first tying it around the rear wheel. Uh, you need to again go fairly low down on the rear wheel. Unravel enough string for the length of the machine and then bring it in so it's again touching both the front and rear edge of the rear tyre. You can then assess the same gap as before at the front wheel and this would be repeated on the other side so that we can properly assess the alignment. As you can see from the diagram, perfectly aligned is okay. Any amount of offset, you'd probably need to road test the machine to see whether it's affecting uh, the handling. Any amount of uh, misalignment of the rear wheel would be a reason for rejection.